What is up, Coratics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now, again, guys, as much as the community loves the Fast and Furious cars, let's try to focus on some of the other popular movie cars if possible so it's not too repetitive. Eventually, we will do most of the Fast and Furious cars, including some of the most popular and non-popular ones as well. But first, I do want to focus on some of the major iconic cars uh, from certain movies like John Wick, of course. Um, Eleanor, we've already done Dukes of Hazzard, Starsky and Hutch. Um, hopefully, Smokey and the Bandit in the future. Again, it's all based on the <laughs> suggestions from you guys. But We've done a lot of great ones so far, and I think there's still a ton more we can do before we jump into those Fast and Furious cars, but... So, in today's video, we're going to be building the 1969 Ford Mustang from the movie John Wick. Now, in the movie, it's referred to as a Boss 429, however, it's actually a Mach 1. But anyways, the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the Vapid Dominator GTT, which offers a livery that's very similar to the stripes seen on John Wick's car, and it also happens to be based on a 1969 Mustang as well, which is perfect. Now, this car can be found on the Southern San Andreas website for a normal price of about 1.2 million, or a trade price of about 900,000. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the John Wick Mustang. All right, today? let's do it. John Wick Mustang build. Okay, we got armor. Well, it's up to you if you want to fully max it out, even though his car was, you know, got smashed up in that one scene of the second movie with the taxis. But up to you. But I'll do 100% armor just so um, it's a bit more resistant. Um, in terms of the performance mods, usually for these builds, I always max them out uh, for the most part. It's just so that the car is quicker and a bit more lively. So do that so front bumper you're going to leave that stock which is the chrome front bumper rear bumper has the bolts and the reverse lights all these other options um these smooth it out and removes the reverse lights which you don't want so stock for this one is also the closest um engine block uh for this one uh, this one's pretty tough because I, I couldn't find any video or photos of the actual hero car from the first movie or the second movie um, from the engine bay that is so I couldn't find any engine bay photos I looked and looked and then there's different replicas and recreations which kind of throws you off um, and I kind of want it to be as accurate to the movie as possible now I did find a photo of one of these stunt cars engine bays um, and I thought that is probably what the hero car has most likely so we're gonna do that. So it'll be the secondary ribbed valve covers. Okay, continuing to air filters. Uh, for this one, you're also gonna wanna keep it stock. Strut brace, for this one we're gonna do the triangulated strut brace. Engine tunes, max it out, why not? Um, intercoolers, it's up to you. If you want it to look a bit nicer in here, you can do the exposed intercooler, which I'm gonna do that, why not? not a bad job. Exhaust, so this one's a bit tricky. Uh, on the real car, the exhausts stick out pretty far, even a, a little bit more than the bumper, or almost kind of flush with the bumper, sort of like the stock exhaust on this one, but they do have a bit of an angle to them. Uh, now on this car, you can see the stock exhaust does not have an angle on the tips, um, but these do, the chrome tip and also the big bore slightly, however, they're too far in. Um, I think the stock exhaust is still going to be the closest out of all these options and these kind of go out to the side so at least to me the stock uh, will be the closest so that's what we're gonna do there uh, fenders also stock grill you're gonna do the hood badge delete You've got an eye for headlight covers stock hood catches you're gonna go with the race hood pins there see that there now for hood oh. I'm gonna go through all these options just so you guys can see the real car had a hood scoop right at the kind of back part of the hood um, let's go through here and you can see we don't have a hood scoop that's like that here uh, the closest one maybe would probably be the um, saber turbo hood however uh, the scoop is too far forward and it's just too big it goes almost the whole width of the hood I just 
don't think it's correct. Uh, to me, the cow hood is kind of in the right place where the hood scoop is supposed to be. It's pretty much sort of the right size. It doesn't have the vent, obviously, but to me, I think this is the closest one. So we're going to do that. Make sure you pick primary color for this one. Very important. Um, continuing to the interior, you're going to keep the stock seats. We don't want any of these race seats that Rio car had the normal um, kind of traditional looking seats. So the closest one will be the stock ones. Um, steering wheels, the real car had a wooden steering wheel. Uh, we don't have that option available in this game. The stock wheel is pretty close with the spokes, but to me, the closest one is either the Sprint Professional or the Sprint Mark II, either one of the two. Um, however, the Sprint Professional has the paddle shifters, which we don't want, so Sprint Mark II is the one I'm gonna pick. Roll cage, you're gonna skip this, also stock. Headlights, stock. Liveries, all right, the important black performance stripes. These right here, black, no, sorry, black double stripes, not performance stripes. You're gonna put that. Uh, louvers, no louvers, you're gonna skip that, make sure that's stock. Plates, so the plate on the real car was XAB235, a New Jersey plate. Um, I didn't create the special plate because my iFruit is still broken, but uh, to me at least, since the top of the plate has some yellow on it, um, I think the closest one will probably be the uh, the first uh, plate number one here, the blue on white one, because it does have a little bit of yellow there compared to the stock, as you can see. So I think it's just a little bit closer, so we'll do that. Respray, all right, so the color. You're gonna go to metallic, and you're gonna throw on here dark steel. Now for pearlescent, the closest one would probably be like an ice white or frost white, However, it transfers to the uh, stripes quite a bit in direct sunlight. As you can see there, it just looks a bit strange. Um, so I'm gonna go with something a bit more subtle. So we're gonna go here to bluish silver. I, th I thought the silver at first, but it wasn't bright enough. So bluish silver. I think this is a nice balance so that the sun is not too Whatever overpowering like. on our uh, stripes Technology for the pearlescent. So do the bluish silver so pearl. Secondary color. You want to make this matte black. Now, usually the secondary changes um, the hood when it's stock, and I believe the interior stitching. Yep. So for this, you're gonna do matte black, and I'll show you why in a second here. Why you're gonna do <laughs> matte black, but just do the matte black trim color. We're gonna do black. Accent color is just the gauges. Just leave that ice white. Side skirts. So skirts on this car is the pillar vents. So the real car did not have a pillar vent. However, it did have a vent on the um, quarter panel area right by the door handle. So it had a nice scoop vent right there. Um, however, that's not an option here as you can see. You can probably put this pillar scoop, but to me, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do this with the build where they do the pillar scoop, but it's in the wrong location. I don't know. To me, I, I prefer just not to have the scoop at all there. So. Uh, at least in my opinion, the stock is better, but you can also alternatively go with the primary pillar scoop if you'd like, but I'm gonna go stock. Spoiler upgrade. So, you're gonna go with the secondary wing, and you can see, since we picked the matte black, now we have a spoiler that looks almost like the real car, like that black plastic, and I think that's a perfect reference there, and perfect for the build, so that's what we're gonna do there. Splitters. For this one, you're going to leave stock. Now, you could do uh, secondary spoiler. However, the pearlescent transfers over to it, and it looks a bit strange. So, to me, stock splitter is the best one for that sort of, like, original plastic look like the real car. Sun strips, stock. Suspension, stock. Transmission, if you want to max these out. I'm going to skip the turbo. Wheels. So the stock wheels are actually the closest, um, especially with the size they are. However, you can't put the tire lettering on these stock wheels like the real car. So you're going to have to go into one of the categories to pick the same similar wheel to, so you can get those the tire lettering on there. So muscle category, chrome. We're going to go with the muscle freak. This is the wheel, but it is a bit large. Um, the stock to me is definitely better, but... Muscle Freak this is the same type of wheel so that we can get the tire lettering on there. Of course, in chrome. Boom. Look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. 
windows are going to leave that stock. The car did not have tints in the movie. And that's all the options there. Not bad. Very, very happy with this build. Let's take it for a drive. Exit to ground. Looks so, so, so good. Love the John Wick Mustang. And it's crazy how many options we have in the game to make it look so similar to the real car, except for the hood scoop. But everything else, very, very, very similar. Even the hood pins, I mean, it's crazy. The spoiler, all the options we have. Um, but yeah, great looking car. I've always loved the Dominator GTT. A great interior with the wood paneling like the real car as well. Um, just super detailed, of course, in your DLC car. And absolutely love it. All right, floor it here. And of course, for those of you who don't know, the Dominator GTT handles like an absolute beast. I mean, it's one of the better handling muscle cars in the class with up there with the ASP, the Buffalo STX, all those good muscle cars that handle almost like sports cars. This thing does not handle like a traditional muscle car. It handles very, very well as you can see here. I mean, it's an absolute beast, this car. I'd probably say this is... It's the second best handling Mustang inspired car in game. Well, actually, the ASP might be a little better. I would say ASP, no. GTX, ASP, and then this one. But yeah, this thing sounds fantastic. It looks fantastic. Of course, you can do the drifts and stuff like the real movie uh, if you'd like. So, real car for the movie, I meant to say, but meh. Love, love, love this thing. It's crazy how many builds you can do with this car. My first uh, movie slash TV show series build was with the um, this car as well when we did the uh, bullet Mustang build. Love that. And you can also do a uh, <laughs> John Wick Mustang build. So, very cool. Alright, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. We saw most of the engine bay in the, uh, with the customization, but... I guess we can open the trunk too, why not? Yeah, this car looks fantastic in direct sunlight. Oh yeah. Vehicle doors, all. Something opens up there. The engine model there with the black valve covers. Super, super similar to the uh, stunt car engine bay. Interior looks fantastic. Love it, love it, love it trunk oh I forgot that's right yeah the trunk on this car is forced like a silver for some reason kind of interesting the trunk carpeting yeah, very strange I keep forgetting about that but yeah fantastic fantastic car um, I I'm surprised we even got the livery too. Rockstar they, they definitely did it on purpose <laughs> they gave us the livery and super super similar options but anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.